I don't know about you, but I like watching things explode. I didn't buy Titanfall 2 because it's known for its destructible environments and epic explosions, but when things go boom in this game, it's really satisfying. Today we're going to talk about the Grenadier class of weapons and how you can create some seriously big explosions. First things first, why would you bring a Grenadier weapon over something more tried and true like an R201 carbine or a car SMG? The answer is unrestricted power. Unlike standard firearms or anti-titan weapons, Grenadier weapons are capable of dealing significant damage to any target you find. They aren't exceptionally well suited for killing pilots, assault rifles, marksman rifles, SMGs, and shotguns do that best, and they deal less damage to titans than designated anti-titan weapons, but despite their shortcomings, they have a solidified place in a pilot's armory because of the well-rounded devastation they cause. While we're on the subject of devastation, Grenadier weapons create some seriously big explosions, and that's something you can't get from a little tiny SMG. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with being small, the car SMG and the R201 carbine have nothing to worry about. But as quickly as you can lay waste to one or two enemies with a gun, you can lay waste to an entire field of enemies with a single magazine from a Grenadier weapon. The ability to deal area of effect damage is the main reason to trade in your carbine for a grenade launcher. And while we're on the subject of AoE damage, Grenadier weapons aren't the only way to create explosions in Titanfall 2. Frag grenades and satchel charges are the two strongest explosive ordnance in the game. Frag grenades are great for cooking and blasting an unsuspecting pilot before they have time to react. Just a fun fact, a cooked grenade is a great garnish for a salad. You get it? Because you, you you cook the grenade, you know, like you cook it in the oven, and then you can, you can like decorate a salad with the cooked grenade, like kind of like bacon bits, but grenade bits. Anyway, the satchel charge is the strongest pilot ordinance, and it deals a stupid amount of damage to both pilots and titans alike in a very large radius. So, we talked about the primary weapon, we talked about the ordnance, now let's talk about the pilot tacticals. Unfortunately, there isn't anything you can do to make your booms bigger, but you can make them more powerful and shield yourself in the process. The Amped Wall ability offers great protection from enemy fire. Additionally, shots you make through the wall become amped, which means they deal more damage. But don't get too comfortable lobbing death balls over and through your wall because you're only protected from the front and titans can still punch you through your protective barrier. And Scorch's thermite will go through it and drip on your face and that stuff is hot. Go figure. One of the biggest issues I have with playing with my Grenadier build is that I'm very susceptible to attacks from the rear and sides. The way the wall works, you plop it down facing in the direction you want to attack and you focus all of your attention in that direction. After that, you may as well put a big sign on your back that says my booty is ready because I have no doubt someone is going to try and run up on you. Also, targets might try to run through your wall and man mode their way to a quick kill, but that's why you've got to have a backup plan. Lastly, the pilot kit Ordnance Expert reduces the cooldown on your grenades and allows you to see the trajectory at which you're throwing them. This means more explosions more often. As powerful and fun as Grenadier weapons are, there are a lot of downsides. They have a slow rate of fire, a slow reload speed, slow projectile speed, and a small magazine capacity. That's actually a lot more negatives than I would have thought, but if you can work with them, they'll be devastating and get on people's nerves. Taking advantage of vantage points is the best way to mitigate the shortcomings of a Grenadier weapon. In Titanfall 2, any ledge, rooftop, windowsill, whatever you can see, you can probably get on top of it and it will provide you a great tactical advantage. My favorite thing about using Grenadier weapons is the ability to siege locations and set up traps. If you know an enemy is fighting to defend a control point, lob some grenades in the general direction of your target and see what happens. Also, remember when I said the satchel charge does a lot of damage? Just wait for it. We 
boom goes the titan. So there you go. This has been an overview of the Grenadier weapons and how to make some serious explosions in Titanfall 2. You can argue for days about whether the tactics I've shown are competitively viable, but the fun factor is undeniable. Some of my favorite moments in Titanfall 2 thus far have come about because of Grenadier loadouts. My favorite Grenadier loadout is on screen now if you want to try it out for yourself, but on that note, it's time to sign off. The name of the game, once again, is Titanfall 2. The name of the channel is iBlueAirJGR Gaming for Comedy. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.